handyman stuff outside of my bedroom door is making me feel awkward so don't worry about it hi guys and welcome back to my channel there is a handyman okay, on my room making me feel a bit awkward so i'm trying to be quiet but also film this today i really want to show you my new handbag which is a handbag from a brand that i've had a few bags from before had past tense no longer have them there's a slight story here as an instagrammer blogger youtube person you have to go out and shoot some outfits so i had organized to shoot a couple of outfits my dad was going to help me i put in my car my two teddy blake handbags a pair of shoes and a couple of other items of which i can't even really remember ready to go and shoot them now somebody went into the car and didn't shut the door properly which meant that the car didn't actually lock the stuff that i had all in the boot of the car was subsequently stolen what was really annoying is that the i had a new pair of trainers in there from adidas bought on net porter and they'd open the net porter box removed the trainers and left the box with all the wrappaging wrappaging packaging receipt everything so i knew how much money i'd spent and how much money i no longer had so that was annoying and also extremely annoying that i lost my two favorite teddy blake bags r.i.p let's give them a little moment let's insert some clips of my previous bags very sad very very sad and i'm actually not even joking i did cry on the floor for a little bit and i realized that it's not the end of the world could have been in the car the car could have been damaged could have stolen the whole car but we did lose two bags that we really really liked and they were very very good dupes so they gave me even more pleasure because they looked like really expensive handbags they weren't so hopefully the, the robber has tried to sell them on as like and as proper bags and has sadly realized they ain't however they are real leather now i think it's about time i revealed to you my brand new baby come on in come on in this is my new teddy blake real leather Hermes birkin dupe love it it is extremely similar in fact it's the exact same bag as my orange one but obviously not orange it's like a brownie gray which i love i think it's very chic a lot more wearable even though i did love the orange and uh, so i'm just gonna pretend that the orange has gone away for the summer this is the winter version the orange also had silver hardware too so it's pretty much exactly the same uh, the leather is just supple i've been using it ever since i got it a couple of days ago because obviously i now need a bag it has the two top handles here and inside there's a crossbody strap i believe but i've never actually ever put them on any of my bags because i don't carry things crossbody i absolutely love it it looks like an amazing dupe can't remember how much this is so i'm just gonna this is 509 dollars something like 400 and something pounds expensive but obviously not like 12,000 to 24,000 to 40,000 which the real bags are this is amazing quality leather and they are incredible you can use it as much as you like mine never had like any wrinkles any marks mine was perfect quality my orange one so i know that they wear well um it's not particularly heavy but it is such good quality also you can fit so much inside there so you can find this on teddyblake.com i will leave it all in the description box down below so to get inside reveal reveal in fact do you want to see how i actually usually carry it because i can't be bothered to do that all the time i actually usually walk like this and i don't mind that as i said when i was showing my orange bag i see victoria beckham walking with her real birkins like this so if it's good enough for her it's good enough for me so but yeah i do don't mind doing this in fact sometimes i'll just pop that over there if i feel uneasy on the tube very nice and spacious and i thought i would just quickly show you what i've got inside this is what i had the other day after i went to work i actually have a pack of pop chips which I haven't yet had, so I'm probably gonna eat those in a minute. I should probably show you them properly. Pop chips, smoky barbecue, they're the ridged ones as well. Love them. Then next up, if I just grab it random, I have a load of post office receipts from eBay and Depop and all that jazz. They've actually written O's DD five pounds. So really trying to name and shame me there. I owe my mum five pounds because she put five pounds on my account. I have like a drop and go account so you can put your stuff and leave trying to really dob me in there next up i have a book i've started reading this in the last few days i'm currently here i'm reading so many books at the moment about one a week 
until my last one which took me a little bit longer but over on my instagram i'm doing like a highlights reel of all the books that i've read and also a little review and rating so if you're interested in books i like i tend to like like thrillers psychological thrillers that type of thing so far the feedback has been really good people have been loving me doing this so if you're also interested you can go over to my instagram at blaze dyer and in my highlights there's a section called books and i show you a picture of the book that i bought then my review when i finished it i think this is actually a really good one so far and in here i have the dust bag i also have the crossbody strap I also have the little padlock which makes it really look like an hermes bag you can pop that on the front to lock it if you want but i just like keeping that inside because i'm not really going to use it the wrapper of my favorite chocolate bar of the moment kinder what do you even call these like kinder kinder chocolate medium bars no like what do you call them you know those little like thin ones love them at the moment but i could eat like three very easily in one sitting so we have a purse now i'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that this is real don't hate me but this i've had for ages it's not real throwing that out there sorry but i really like it i've only just started using it so it's kind of annoying because it doesn't really have any card holders it only has one at the front here i could have just lied to you and told you this was real i'm not sure what the real chanel one looks like so what the ones hopefully i'm not showing you my card details the card that i actually need is at the front and then the rest of them are there with some receipts so i'm really liking this at the moment and i'm loving the bright red and pretending that it's real but i've just named and shamed myself part two i have a lip balm from burt's bees which is the chai tea flavor which is really nice because i very often feel like i need lip balm i also have a lip gloss because i very often wear lip gloss and sometimes when i'm wearing matte lipsticks i get bored of it and i want to put lip gloss over the top so i always tend to be carrying lip gloss with me this is a longcomb juicy tube which i think i've had since i was probably 15. very hygienic then as we dig in, I have this, which is the Clinique Deep Comfort Hand and Cuticle Cream, which was also in the car, but they didn't steal this. So I took it out of the car to stop them from stealing it, should I ever leave the car unlocked again. Got my hand cream. Then we have some keys to my mum's house and a whistle, just in case. I need to grab some attention. I'm drowning. Anything. got a whistle don't worry and finally my headphones which are an absolute essential in fact today i had a conference call with the people from my work i was actually doing other things whilst wandering because we we're waiting for a lot of other people and i could mute myself keep these on wander around my room doing stuff and have both hands free these are also amazing headphones for sports running gymming all that jazz so if you're looking for some headphones these are the beats ones power beats really really good that Bang myself in the chest. It brings us to the end of my bag. It is now empty. This is what it looks like empty. It's a really lovely bag. And I am so happy that the Teddy Blake people allowed me to have another one that I will look after better. I won't let it out of my sight now. I love this colour. I think it's really chic. And I think that it may... I don't know. I don't know if it's nice than my orange one. I think they're on the same level. It's obviously the same bag and they are so amazing. And I know they're expensive. Lots of you say like you wish you could have one, but they're too expensive. I would see this as maybe a Christmas present. It is so worth it. So if you're looking for a designer-esque bag with a really, really good quality leather. This is what you're gonna do a variety of different other bags. There are some cheaper ones, there are some different styles. So I'll leave the website down below. This is from Teddy Blake, and I can't thank them enough for sending me another one because I lost my last one. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you guys think of this. Do you prefer to my orange one? Maybe more wearable. Let me know. Let me know. So that brings us to the end of my video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully, not with a new bag because this one's been stolen.